Hi, I'm George, and I'll be showing you how to make this color-changing campfire right there. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos. Okay, to do this, we'll need to make a new custom resource pack for this, and of course, do those colors as an animation. We'll start off over on the desktop. And let's switch over there right now. Okay, here we are on my desktop, and the first thing you need is a new folder to build your pack in. I just made one here on my C drive, and I called it Packs. I also made my own pack PNG file right here, which I'll use. This is just a 256 by 256 PNG file. That's all it is, just a square PNG. I'll show you where you can get the default one if you don't want to make your own in just a bit. We also need to have the launcher open up right here. And in the launcher, where it says Installations, click on that, and then go over here where you see that folder icon. Open that folder icon right there. That takes you into the Minecraft folder. Let me just get this position. I'll put that here and that right there. Now we need a couple of files out of here. Come down where it says Versions. Open this up and then find your current version in here. I'm playing in 117.1 right now, so I'll go inside here and you want that JAR file. If you don't see the .jar and the .json, go over here to View and put a check right there where it says Find them Extensions. You'll then see those. Okay, take the .jar, right drag over here and copy. We'll be getting all of our basic files out of here except for the pack.mc meta file. And for that, that's not included in this jar file. If you have an earlier version of Minecraft, you can get it from that. Let me just show you that. I'll grab 16.5 right here. Same thing, grab that jar file and I'll copy that here. Now, if you don't have an earlier version, you can also get this as a download from my website. I'll put a link for that in the description. Okay, get this out of the way. Now, both of these, right now they're jar files. You can change this over to a zip file. Just click once, click a second time. You can then type in the name here and just right on top of jar, type in zip, choose yes. It then becomes a zip file. Let's do the same thing on this one. Back up there and then type zip, enter key and yes. And there we go. They're now both zip files. We're also going to need to be building some folders in here. So we'll put our first folder, click on new folder button. And this calls one assets. We'll put all of our Minecraft files inside there. Let's now get those files. Go over here to the zip right click and choose open in new window there it is and then go into assets right here into minecraft into textures and then into block at the top right there in here scroll down and we want to find that campfire there it is campfire png and campfire.mc meta you need both of those two files so i'll hold the control key down select both of those right drag those over here and copy that's our campfire right there, campfire animation, and this just runs the animation for us. You need those two files. Now in here we went in just a few folders as you can see right up here. Assets, Minecraft, Textures, and Block. We need to make those folders over here in our Assets folder. So let's open this up. Position that so you can see that line up there. So we need to make a Minecraft folder. So new folder, Minecraft, inside of that one. New folder, Textures, inside of that one. New folder, Block, there we go. And inside of here is where our files are gonna go. We actually can put this one in there right now. We don't need to do anything with this. This is just fine. I'm just going to right click and copy and let's go inside all these folders, right click and paste. That's all set to go. Go back to our packs folder right here. And we now need to find that pack.mc meta file. Now you won't find it in the 117.1, but you will find it in 116.5. So I'll use this, right click and let's open a new window. Now again, if you don't have 116.5, then just download that from my website. And again, the link is in the description, easy to find. Now in here, scroll way down this big long list, almost to the bottom, hold us back up just a little bit. There we go, here's the pack MC meta and there's the pack PNG file. This is that dirt block file. If you wanna use that one, that's fine. I'm just using my own right here, but you can use this one, same thing. But we need this one, the pack MC meta. I'll grab that over here, right drag and copy. There it is. We can now close that zip file out. We're now done with these two things. You may want to keep those on your system just in case you want to go back and make more resource packs. Just you know, save those someplace. It'll save you a couple of steps. Okay, let's edit this real fast. Now in the pack MC Meta, I like editing these in Notepad++. It's a free download. I'll put a link for that in the description as well. And I'll double click and open this one up. Here we go. Two things to change. If you're in 117.1, you want to change that pack format to seven. And then just give it a name up here. This is just the generic name for your pack. I'll call mine Colorful Campfire. Choose Save. And that's now done. Okay, that's all set to go. Now all we need to do is to do the animation right here on this one file. We can close this down, done with that. And for the animation, 
I'll be editing this in Paint.net. You can use any editing program you want. Photoshop Elements is a good choice. You can do this in GIMP. You can do anything you want really. I'll be using Paint.net because it's free. Again, I'll put a link for that in the description. Let me just bring that up and we'll then load this in. Okay, there's Paint.net in the background here and here's my PAX folder in the foreground. You can just drag your file, just drop it in like that. It then opens up right inside. This is a real small image. All the Minecraft images are really small. And that's fine. That's all we need for this. I'll just grab the zoom tool over here. Let's just zoom in on this a bit, a bit larger. That's pretty good. Okay. Now all we need to do is to put a color overlay on top of this. It's a little tricky here if you want to do a multi-color overlay, but it's straightforward. Nothing really dramatic about that. I'm going to start in here by making a new layer and that's that button right here. There we go. There's that new layer. I'm just bring this over here so it's easier to see. There's that. Let's bring this in. You can see that also. Okay. Go over here, this is the gradient tool. And this gives you a gradient of your foreground to your background color. So if I went in here right now, if I hide the background, we're on this layer two. If I go up to the top, pull straight down like that, that gives me that gradient of the foreground to the background. I don't want to have that. I'll use the control Z to undo that. Let's now pick our colors. The first one I want is going to be a red color over here. I'm just going to go straight to the side and choose that nice bright red. Or I can come down here and choose a red right there. That's our foreground. Click on the background. I'll make the background just kind of a yellow orange like that. Back to our middle section here. Pull straight down. There you go. Notice it puts in the top color and then your background color is all the rest. So if I pull straight down, that gives me the pure color up here down to the pure color for our background color. And there we go. Now I only want to have this just a little sharp piece in here. So let's grab the move tool. Come down to the bottom of this and you can click on that and then drag that straight up. I'm also going to show the background. There it is and pull this up. So there's one fire and two fire. Bring it right down to there and that's all set. Okay. Let's now do a new layer on top of that and I'll use the control D keyboard shortcut to deselect that. Let's now reverse these. That puts that color as the foreground and I want to have another color over here. I'm going to use a green right here or from down here. It's a good green right here. So that's a yellow to a green. Same exact thing. Back to that gradient tool. Pull it straight down. Clear to the bottom. Back to the move tool. Back over here. Click on that pull this up. I'm going to pull the top down until it's just below that and go just back up just until it touches. And then let's make sure that this comes down just covering two of those fires. That's right there. Control D to deselect. New layer. Back over here. Reverse those. And then go over here to kind of a light blue right here. Let's just do a darker blue. I think right in here is pretty good. And exact same thing. Back to the gradient. Pull that straight down. Clear to the bottom. Back to the move tool. I'll pull the top down this time until it comes down to fit like that. Let's pull the bottom up. Make sure you come down just two fires right there. Control D, deselect. Okay, one more layer. That's right there. Let's reverse those. And on that one, I'm going to finish this off with kind of this magenta right up in there. Same thing again. Gradient tool, pull straight down to the bottom. Just like that. Back to our move tool. Click in here, pull the top down. The bottom is already fine. Pull the top down until we just get past that. And then just bump that up against there. There we go. There's our rainbow gradient. Control D to deselect. Now we need all of this on just one layer here. So over here, come down to the bottom and click on this button. This is merge layer down. You just merge that down three times. So it's all on the one layer. Now we need to be able to see the background through this. And a couple things. First, I want to make this just on the flame itself. So let's hide that. And then our background layer, go over here and grab the magic wand and click into the transparent area. That selects all of that. Let's go back up here to our layer two. Show that again. Hit the delete key. That just deletes that. So that's out of there. So that's looking good. We now need to blend this into our background. So double click on layer two. Brings up our blend modes right here. And then change the blend mode to color burn. And that puts that color right into the flame. There we go. Looks really good. Choose OK. And that's all set to go. That's all we need to do. Let's just save this and then finish our resource pack. I'm going to save this twice. So file, save. First time I'll save it as a paint.net file. Choose save. And that's in case I want to go back and do more work on this later. It's already set to go at that point. It saves me a couple of steps in the future. And then file, save as. We're going to save this as a PNG file. And then go inside of our folders, assets, Minecraft, textures, block and right here choose save choose ok click on flatten and that's done and we're now finished with paint.net so I'll get that out of the way 
We can now compile our resource pack. Easy to do, just grab that assets folder, hold the control key down, grab the pack MC meta and grab your pack.png. Again, I'm using my own custom one here, but the grass block default one is fine as well. Go up to share, come down here to zip, give it a name. Call mine colorful campfire. That's good. We now need to put this into the game. We're still here. Go back onto the launcher. Click on that folder right there. It brings up our folder. In here, you're going to see resource packs right there. Let's go ahead and open that one up. Here's our resource packs. Now, mine's still in the game right here. I'm just going to delete that so it's out of the way. There we go. And then take your new resource pack and drag and drop it into here. Puts it into the game like that. And it's now all set. All we need to do is just activate this in the game. So I'll close that down. And we'll go back to the game again and activate that resource pack. Click on play. And we'll let that load into the title screen. Here's my custom title screen. If you want to find out more about how to build that, I'll put links for that in the description. Then go down here to options and into resource packs. Then you should see your new resource pack left hand side here. It is colorful campfire. Choose that. There it is. Choose done. Let that load in that resource pack. Choose done again. And then we'll go into the game and see how it looks. They are in the game. There's that colorful campfire right there. A little close. Let's just step over here just a bit. And you can see it right there. Okay, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Click on share. Click on subscribe. Check out my channel for a bunch more Minecraft videos. And I'll see you next time.